What is up, Moto Fam? I am so excited for today's Moto Dad review because we are getting into one of the newest pieces of technology to hit the Moto Cross scene, and it is the RXR chest protector. If you don't know what this thing is, don't worry, stay tuned because we're gonna get into it. Let's go. Before we get into this, I just wanna say special thanks to Mike Watts over at Blue Star Racing for ordering this for himself and then letting me open it. Thank you, really means a lot. Now as always, before we open any attachment, I always try and show you guys how much this thing would cost you, but it's not on the box because we ordered it online. These can run anywhere from 200 to 260, depending on what style, what sticker package, and what kind of chest protector you end up going with. Go to rxrprotect.com to get a full spectrum of their prices and sticker packs and everything that comes along with one of these. Okay, no more waiting. I got my knife out. Let's break into this thing. Wow, they really do it up on the way they package these things. This is so cool. It just adds to the suspense. Wow, and there it is. We got a lot of information here as we always show. Welcome to the crew is what that says. One of the coolest things is look, they actually put in the stickers for their brand. I love when a company does that because let's be honest, if you're gonna have their product, you might as well run their stickers on your bike or on something. So what's the big deal with this RXR chest protector and why did I say that it was cutting edge technology? Well, let's just start with what we can see. This is the Alpine Star A1 chest protector. Now what this is, is probably one of the most highly used chest protectors currently on the market. Made by one of the top manufacturers of protective gear and very low profile. I have ran this chest protector for a long time and really liked it. Very minimalistic, but solid. But here's the difference between these two. You'll notice with the Alpine Star, just the materials are wild between the two. Alpine Star uses a plastic shell with a foam backing. Nothing too special there, because this chest protector is basically just a roost guard for rocks and dirt, and maybe it will help in the occasional bar in the chest situation. But for big impacts, probably not gonna do a whole, whole lot. On the other hand, the RXR chest protector does have plastic components, mainly these two in the front and these portions in the back. But other than those similarities, all the rest is basically different because the frame as well as what's inside of the chest protector are completely different materials. First is this foam structure, which makes up the bulk of the chest protector. Here's some of the side pieces that would protect your flanks, just so you can get a better idea of how different this is in material. It's kind of a rubbery foam, easy to bend and very comfortable feeling up against maybe a jersey. But the real technology starts here. Yes, that is where an air pump would attach to inflate air pockets inside of this chest protector. You can see more of the pockets here of air on the front and on the back of the chest protector as well. Now it goes over the process of actually pumping up the air pockets inside of the chest protector, which they call airbags, in this pamphlet which you can see right here. And what's cool is it kind of gives you breakdowns throughout the pamphlet of how the chest protector actually works. But in simplest terms, it comes with an air pump. This air pump would attach to this tip and you would be able to inflate the airbags inside of the chest protector to give you more chest protection. So I think it's safe to say this isn't really a chest protector or a roost guard like we think of them. Does it do those things? Yeah. And does it do it good? I'm sure. But this is more impact protection. I would even go out on a limb to say that this will help in impacts like crashes, not just bumping your chest into a bar from a hard landing. Here's something to note though. This rear portion of the chest protector is huge. And just to give you some context, here's the back piece of that Alpine Star chest protector we had earlier. Look at the difference in size. 
And let's take this one step further. You'll actually notice that on that A1 roost guard, you can remove the back piece. That's because a lot of people don't actually use those back portions in racing. I'm not saying that's right. I'm just saying that's the truth. So if you're into protection, this is gonna be the way to go, not this. Now protection aside, there are some downsides to having something this big on your back. Obviously you can get hot and sweat. It's more weight on you and on your bike. Just to be perfectly honest, it just seems like it could be uncomfortable after a long period of time. But if we're talking about overall quality and protection, this is about as good as you're gonna get. So what are my overall thoughts on this thing? Well, I gotta be honest, this thing is pretty rad. The technology, the research and development that went into it, you can clearly see there's a lot going on in this chest protector. I do think that it does have some downsides with the large back, but overall, this thing is awesome. The price tag's a little bit high, but if you're looking at the top tier protection without going into like, a full-blown protection zip-up suit, this is it. Before we head out, don't forget to hop over to the motofam.com and get yourself one of our shirts. Say bye-bye.